my battalion was deployed to go to Vietnam right after the Tet Offensive. I was wounded in a landmine explosion that killed my buddy next to me. That took a toll on me, wondering, you know, why I didn't die in the blast? Why did I survive? You know, why did my buddy get killed? We would lose someone and it would be a terrible event. But once I was the squad leader, it seemed to be my fault. Everything that happened over there, I camouflaged all that stuff and, and, and just buried it, you know what I mean? The feelings, I mean, I, I became numb. I didn't speak to anybody about it, not even my wife or my kids. I didn't want anybody to know because I was, I was um, ashamed. I had this, these dreams of flying in helicopters and crashing in combat. Those were some of the kind of the nightmares that I experienced. I was suffering inside, shaking, uh, sweating at night. I would wake up with a start, sit up and drenched in sweat, trembling, frightened like a big firefight had just happened. And no, I don't know why. I would drink uh, heavily and then I would um, get into some kind of fight or barroom brawl. And uh, I got that reputation of this uh, Vietnam veteran that uh, you never knew what he was going to do. My kids told, told me that, um, Dad, you need to go get some help. We all noticed that you was always looking out the window or you were always checking the doors of the house or you always walking around the, uh, your, like a perimeter, you know, just, uh, um, they noticed all that, you know, and they knew my temper was pretty high too. And so, so I um, finally went to the VA uh, down here in La Jolla and I said, I really, I really need help bad. I had this pamphlet and it had every symptom of PTSD all listed in a row. Every one of them was me. I went to the VA down on 23rd Street and 1st Avenue, Manhattan. My psychiatrist was treating me. Really uh, helped me through a lot of the issues. Just talking about my, my, my you know, what my feelings were, um, how I can deal with them better. So I go to this psychologist. He. Uh, connected me with an alcohol and drug counselor, and I got involved in a self-help group. I was able to say things in a way that didn't trigger my PTSD, but told what was going on. I think the group sessions were, um, were great. We could open up and not be scared to show our feelings, you know, because we knew you know, our brothers understood us, you know, and that's where the healing came from. From that time on, my life has been getting continually better. If it wasn't for uh, the VA, uh, uh, I have to say, you know, uh, I wouldn't be in the place that I am today. Uh, the past, you can't change that past, you know. It's the future you have to look forward to. Find, you know, what's available out there. Everyone's different. Try everything because something will click with, with you.